Good morning, happy Sunday, welcome back. As you can hear, I still have a little bit of nasal things going on. I didn't upload last week because I was sick with the flu. On Saturday, my friend and I went out and yeah, I was super hungover on Sunday. And then Monday and Tuesday was fine. And then on Wednesday, got an itchy throat. I was not feeling good. I thought I had COVID. I was really stressing out. And then when I took the test, it was negative. So I just had the flu. I don't even know how you get the flu anymore. But yeah, so I was literally down in the dumps for about a week. So this is just what's left over. But yeah, I really wanted to take myself out on a solo date, but I was just not feeling well and I didn't want to cough in public and blow my nose in public because people are probably going to think I have COVID. So I just stayed home, didn't do anything the entire week. And yeah, so now I am wanting to go to the bookstore. So I was watching a lot of vlogs when I was in bed and I really, really love watching bookstore vlogs. It's just so relaxing. I love seeing the bookstore, love seeing the books, love seeing some inspiration for books. So I thought I will take you with me to the mall, to the bookstore because that bookstore is really, really big and I just love it. It has everything. So I actually have a list of like 200 books on my wish list. And I narrowed it down to about five or six books and books are expensive so I need to keep myself at bay. I need to not spend a lot today on books so I made a list and hopefully they'll probably have everything. Normally they have everything in stock so hopefully fingers crossed they will have the books on my list today. And yeah, I'll just show you around the bookstore. I am a little bit hungry, so we might get something to eat. So I'm meeting my friend there and then we might go to the park afterwards. But let me show you what I am taking with. So I'm taking this big bag with me. And then, let me see. I am gonna eat this now because I am getting quite hungry. Then I have dental wipes, have my mask. Uh, all the essentials and then I'm also taking with this it's like a charong um, just because I am taking the bike there because taxis are extremely expensive and I'm just gonna like pull this over me so I don't burn myself to death oh and I brought my defense kitty as well not that you really need it in Thailand but just for in case oh and I did my nails Look how pretty they are. It's kind of like this rainbowy. Yeah, I just love it. It was extremely expensive, so I might not do it again, but I am obsessed and I was like in bed the whole week, so I couldn't even like wear them out. <laughs> so the books that I am interested in, like I am a sucker for self-help books. Like I just love it so much. I love learning new things about humans and our brains and just, you know, just becoming a better and stronger person. I've been reading that a lot. Yeah, so at the moment I am reading Why Has Nobody Told Me This Before by Dr. Julie Smith. So she's a therapist and it's just, you know, it talks about a whole lot of things that people might need, might need help with, like grief and, you know, motivation, depression, just a whole bunch of things, which I found very interesting. And then I'm reading three books. So my mom used to do this. A lot she'll just read like a bunch of books at the same time because it made them last longer which is the truth so I'm reading three books um, the one I, the one I just mentioned now and then I'm also kind of getting into money because I don't know a, lot, a whole lot about money you know we haven't been taught this in school um, my family never spoke about money and my friends and I never spoke about money, so that I just didn't have the opportunity to learn anything about money. So that's something I'm getting really interested in learning more about because I just don't want to go through my whole life knowing absolutely nothing about money. So now I am reading You Are a Badass at Making Money by Jane Sincero. I am not very far in, but so far it is, it is a really funny book as well. She's very... Um, hilarious and yeah but so far it is a good book but 
I'll keep you updated. I do a lot of reviews, not a lot, but I do reviews on the books I read on my Instagram. So if you want to take a look at the books I have read, you can go and have a look at my Instagram. And then, so I don't really like fiction that much. I used to love, love, love reading fiction, but I just got out of it. But I'm kind of trying to find balance. Like I don't want to just read heavy books the entire time. So I want to read something lighter. So my sister is reading A Court of Thorns and, and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. And it's kind of like a fantasy, you know, fairy tale, fairy type of book. And yeah, I'm almost done with the first one. It's fine, it's, it's good, it's really not a bad book. Um, but I'm reading all of these books online, so I, I not in physical form. But yeah, today I am gonna go and buy some hard copies. But I feel like reading it on your phone is kind of a lot easier and quicker. I, I was not really a fan of reading it on my phone, but I feel like it's, if it's a smaller screen, so it goes quicker, I feel like. So yeah, if you struggle with reading a really big book and it just feels a little bit intimidating, I really encourage you to try reading it on your phone. But yeah, so I'm gonna be late. This is me just blabbing on. So let's get going. I read, I started reading this book, apparently it's very good, but got like halfway and it's extremely boring, <laughs> but not bad. Yeah, I can't believe it. 
Wat ik gebruik, de stokkie. Even oog. building an IKEA just <laughs> and I wanted to show you what books I bought I wanted six books they only had two that I wanted so I had to go and look in my uh, wish list for other books and they didn't have a lot of them so I bought three books this one is Me and White Supremacy. And then this one also looked very interesting. You can just pause to read if you want. And then this one I showed you. I am home. We had such a good outing to the mall. And yeah, I showed you guys a lot of books that were, that is on my wish list, but it took a lot of self-control to just put them back. 
<laughs> because I, I would just buy the whole bookstore but yeah only bought three and it was like almost 2000 baht in total so it was actually good that I didn't find all of the books because yeah I think around 2000 ish would have been my limit so I probably would have put some books back but I'm just gonna buy them online order them online it does take longer so a lot of my books I do buy on book depository but it takes about a month to get here so it does take its time but I mean yeah I have books to read in the meantime and then my fantasy books and stuff I don't buy re I don't really buy hard copies because I feel like you won't read them more than once in my case so I just read them on my phone so it doesn't take up space I don't know if I mentioned that we wanted to get gelato afterwards but I really had my donut and I'm just very sweet I'm tired I don't know why it is but going to the malls and going outside just drains me like it it takes a lot of energy out of me and now I'm just tired I want to go shower and then I'm just going to do a yoga session. Yeah, thanks so much for joining me and let me know in the description if you have any favorite books, um, books that you just absolutely want everyone to read, please comment them below. I haven't, I've stopped reading for a while, like last year-ish and this year I've really gotten back into my reading. I'm really prioritizing it so yeah, I would love everyone's suggestions and things like that but yeah i'm gonna love and leave you thanks so much for being here and give this video a like give me a subscribe and i will see you next week